So nice you could join me this evening. You're looking lovely as always. Thanks, Howard. Always nice to be part of your masturbatory fantasies. Come on, Katie, don't make it sound so cheap. I'm sorry, fiddling with yourself in the bathtub is a real class act. Thank you. <laughs> so, <clears throat> shall we get started? Sure. But can I ask you a question first? Yeah, you want to play Cylon and Colonist? <laughs> no. I want to know why you're playing make-believe with me when you could be out with a real woman tonight. You mean Bernadette? No, I mean Princess Leia. <laughs> Of course, I mean Bernadette. She's a wonderful girl and she really likes you. I know, but she's not you. I'm not me. <laughs> the real me is in Beverly Hills going out with a tall, handsome, rich guy. Really? Tall? 6'4". Ouch. The point is, you've got a wonderful girl in your life and you're ignoring her in order to spend your nights in the bathtub with a mental image and a washcloth. <laughs> Taking a bath! I hope that's all you're doing! We share that tub! <laughs> Don't remind me! Oh, man. All soaked up and no place to go. One question. Anything. Why am I wearing my Battlestar Galactica flight suit in bed? Why are you in bed with me? If we start to question this, it all falls apart. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, ravish me, Howard. My loins ache for you. Okay, if you insist. <laughs> with your teeth. Bernadette, what are you doing here? Well, if I had to guess, I'd say I'm here because you saw me earlier this evening and you're still hung up on me. No, I'm not. Clearly you are. <laughs> Otherwise, based on past experience, we'd be done by now. Okay, I'm a little confused here. Oh my, can I help? <laughs> Kind of confused. What's George Decay doing here? Howard, do you have latent homosexual tendencies? <laughs> of course not. So you say, yet here I am. George, let me ask you something. How did you deal with being typecast as a science fiction icon? It's difficult. You try and stretch as an actor, do Strindberg, O'Neill, but all they want is course laid in, Captain. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's fracking frustrating. Hey, Katie, why are you leaving? She's leaving because you really want to be with me. Howard, I found my girdle. It was in the dryer. Great, Ma! I think it shrunk. I'm spilling out like the Pillsbury Doughboy here. And with that mental picture, I think we're done for the evening. <laughs> I had a good time. Me too. Kiss her good night. <laughs> All right, now a little tongue. Hold on there. We've only just rekindled the romance. Let's not sully the moment with the exchange of saliva. Don't listen to him. She wants it. Tongue. La, 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 la. See? 
Now make the move. Mm -mm. Too soon. Trust me, she's ready. Make the move. No, no, no. A lady <sighs> wants to be wooed. Courted slowly. How would you know? I read. Listen to me, Howard. It's time. Make the move now. What are you doing? You said the move, remember? Oh, not now. We're starting a new relationship. I need to get to know you again. No, you don't. It's me, the lusty charmer with the fancy pattern and the hoochie pants. Be patient. We'll get there. Told you.